Why do the minorities always have such a bad launch? Like, Jesus. They wanna kill me or what? How did he lose that? I... Hang on. I hit him in the rear. Somehow he lost his front wing. such a painfully modeled track. It's kind of hardly why I wanted to do this race. Just want to get it over with. Too bad the only challenge is because of the shitty track modeling. <laughs> the AI are easy to beat, except last race was exceptional. I literally couldn't beat Schumacher, he was too fast. That's the first time I've gotten an actual AI challenge. Yeah, Schumacher's fucking struggling, and last race he was mopping the floor with me, so that's quite a change.
But yeah. Let's just get this race over with. Then the next one is at Monaco. And from what I quickly tested uh, some time ago, I think the modeling there was actually rather fine. So let's hope that I'm my uh, memory is right. Yeah, just look at this. And they have traction control on their side. And then after this turn here. Yeah, they're super slow, but then bye bye. Absolutely no chance to keep keep up there. As a kid, this game seemed so cool, but now that you're an adult and you see all the things that's wrong with this game. Basically everything, except the engine sounds. Now we have to overtake those two fuckers again. Idiot. Fucking cunt. Now we have to overtaking it and A again. Because I just decided I'm gonna shove my nose there where it doesn't belong. Okay, for the third time. Goodbye. Hopefully that's the last I'll see of them.
And then his teammate. This is the first time we're getting changeable conditions. Let's see how quickly the track goes damp. Once I start to notice even a bit of traction loss, then I think I'll pit. So far I haven't noticed any change. Apparently everyone's pitting for uh, inters. But because we're at the tension button, we can still stay out because we know exactly when, where the crossover point is. At least I hope we do. Yeah, we're getting a bit of understeer. But if that's the only problem, then I'd rather stay out. And yeah, braking is harder too. I need to go a bit slower because of the understeer. I think we should stay out until uh tank is getting empty. Oi. Yeah, there's absolutely no need to come in. Until our fuel finally runs out. Just a bit too late. Uh, I think he was lapping us. Or he was unlapping himself, I don't know. He's probably lapping up lapping us because it's a McLaren. Antonio yeah, that's realistic. Crests into his rear and he loses his front wing. That's the same what happened to David. There you go, I I told you. I told you. It was worth it. Should have gone immediately, but I just wanted to see. 
how this feels now without rain. The track is obviously still damp, but I was wondering like how fast does it dry. And now everyone has to pit for dry, so basically I don't lose any positions. Because they have to pit too. Yeah. Even after just one lap it's already quite a lot better. So it tries rather fast. But yeah, that's just Jensen Button working his magic. It was just godlike in these changeable conditions. Wow. That pitch request was... Mm, spot on. Went green just as I entered, so couldn't have gone much better. Initially forgot that I had to do that, so. Feels pretty dry already. Oh yeah, we could have gone much better there. Yeah, there's no spray anymore. So yeah, we're good now. Can start taking more risks. Damn it, I hate that crest from the bottom of my heart. You can't just naturally drive over it. Oof. That was close. At the very least, they leave room on the outside.
Oh my god. Why? Such a pain in my ass. back for what you did. Enjoy. Ten laps remaining. I hope that's the uh, the uh, lead fight. If it is, then I have a major jackpot incoming. Such a roller coaster of a race. And again, it's starting to rain. Oh my god. But as we've seen before, we don't have to switch. We can manage it. So if any fool is gonna come to the pits, then I'm gonna be the winner. By default, pretty much. Come on, not now. Oh no, come on! Why? Why are you so stupid? Okay, they're going in. Hope fucking everyone is going in. So all of this doesn't go to waste. Seems like everyone's going in. Only Raikkonen left, because he already passed the pit lane a long time ago. like five more laps and a quite comfortable gap to uh, Schumacher but we can't do too many mistakes otherwise we're gonna lose the race so we 
Hope to avoid doing anything reckless. Wait, how close is Raikkonen? Wait, he's ahead of even Michael? He must have pitted too. Because the gap was way less than 20 seconds. Well, my friends, it is my great pleasure to tell you that I have basically won the race. I just now merely need to finish relatively fast. Twenty second cushion. Pretty one nice way to say it. Keep breaking too late, I still keep thinking it's dry. I have to break far earlier. Five laps. So yeah, it's gonna be really close. Cannot let up, but at the same time I can't do mistakes, so yeah. It's gonna be really painful for fast laps. That mistake I shouldn't have done. But only four more laps we can do it. Also, I cannot understand why the AI has to do that. Literally on literally on every track, whenever they come out of the pits, they go really slowly, even though they've already exited the pits, and that they come straight in the racing line, or almost, giving you barely any room to avoid fucking dangerous AI they've created. I crashed into one in Brazil, but thank god, because I apparently have immunity, immunity against damage when I crash into others. Must be a design choice by the developers. It was such a blessing that moment. Of course it didn't matter, because I crashed out of the race anyway. But the fact that I didn't die because of AI screwing around was pretty convenient. At this point I'm fully convinced that it's a design choice. Because the AI are so poorly programmed. Pit exiting and entry as well. So they were going crawling to the pits. Yeah, we should be able to make it. If we don't do any further mistakes. It's gaining really slowly and there's only three more laps, so... We should have this in the bag. And there's no failures enabled, so we don't have to worry about that either. Yeah, it's only catching like one second per sector and that's not enough. 
because we only have like nine more sectors. So that means it's gonna finish like a few seconds behind me. We'll see how much. I'm definitely putting this to YouTube. So you, who are watching right now, thanks so much for watching. This is such an epic race. Far better than I was expecting, especially from the first few, like, 20 laps. It was gonna look like I didn't even, I couldn't even finish on the podium, but here we are. Thanks to the conditions, we were able to take advantage of the situation. And just fully gamble it out with tries. And it worked like a charm. And it's even better on this track because if this was a really technical track then I would have lost even more time. Of course there are plenty of long, long turns but uh... The creep isn't too much worse with tries, like... You can still manage. Give me only catching up like a second sector. Or even less. That's what I intend to do. Bring it home in one piece, that's all we have to do anymore. We can even go slower if we want, because the gap is just too big. Let's do just that. Ah, oh, this feels good. And yeah, we have plenty of fuel left, so you don't even have to fill all the way to the marker. It's just somewhat close to it. Oh. Someone wanted to unlap himself. I swear, if he spun me right there, I would have fucking rage quit the stream. Well, here comes the winner. The master of changeable conditions, Jensen Button. Oh, that was good. Yep. Head off. What a fantastic that was just great. And now as the drivers make their way up to the podium, I'm sure we're going to see an excellent reception from the crowd and fans. Jeez, that was actually Jackson good. Button takes the win and can't you tell he's happy. Thanks he's for watching, guys. Now and his body language really does say it all. Well done. That's the first time I really enjoyed a race in this game. Because it was so tight and kind of realistic as well. Now it's time for the trophy presentation. I mean, normally you would really suffer with tries out on the wet track, but if you're a button, you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, Jensen Button receives the trophy for first place, and look, he's ecstatic. The team will be down below cheering him on and joining in the celebrations. Ferrari's Rubens Barrichello is presented with his trophy and his thoughts will go out to his team and all his mechanics who've made this result possible. And I think, yeah, we're championship Pierre leaders Oscar now. Will take the constructors trophy from this Schumacher had an awful... With the points added to their championship campaign. Yeah, I know. But yeah. We are leading the championship now because Schumacher had an awful race. I didn't even see where he finished. It's always great to see the drivers celebrate their results. The champagne spraying has become a well-established tradition by now. Barry Kello is close behind in the championship though. Unless we're tied right now. Let's find that out once we get to the menu. Whew. 
Oof, that was great. That was really great. I just didn't enjoy the drag because it's so badly modeled and AI being fucking jerks, asshats, wormbags, whatever you want to call them, they were absolutely just a pain in my ass. But I survived the race and I won, so that's all that matters. And uh, yeah, we're almost tied for the champ actually, because Barrichello has been so consistent. Schumacher got only 3 points last race, so that means he finished like... 6th. And yeah, BAR 2nd. We got ahead of McLaren there. My teammate obviously didn't score shit. He only scored in Brazil. And even then, three points, but now he hasn't really been able to do anything. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna download this VOD, upload it, do a few edits here and there, I think, and uh, I'll see you guys later.